Correspondence is a mode of communication between your company and the customer or vendor. The following are important fields related to correspondence in the customer and vendor master records. Address details. The address details field is used to specify the street slash house number, postal code slash city, and country fields. The country key contains the information which the system uses to check entries such as the length of the postal code and the bank account number. Communication Language The communication language field can be used to create dunning in the language of the customer by translating the form stored in the system into this language. Account Statement The account statement is used to indicate how often the system will export a periodic account statement for a customer. You can divide customers into groups with different account statement intervals. For example, a group for weekly and a separate group for monthly account statements. Accounting Clerk The Accounting Clerk field is the name that can be used for correspondence, for example, while sending open item lists. Account Number at Customer The Account Number at Customer field holds the account number that the customer uses for your company code. Correspondence can be generated on an ad hoc basis as required or automatically generated at a predefined time. The following table gives examples of reasons to create correspondence. A correspondence type represents a type of letter in the system. You have to create a correspondence type for every type of letter you need. The data in the table is either entered manually by the user or determined automatically by the system after the user has selected the relevant correspondence type. To combine data from different company codes in one letter, Select the cross company checkbox in the correspondence type and assign the company codes to correspondence company codes in customizing. You can use the following correspondence types in all company codes payment notices, account statements, bill of exchange charges statements, internal documents, individual letters, document extracts. A suitable print program and selection variant are defined for each correspondence type. The selection variant is used to print the requested correspondence. You can distinguish your specifications by company code. You can also choose the printer on which you want your correspondence to be issued in the selection variant. A correspondence type can have several form letters and you can define the form that the program must use to create the correspondence. The individual forms are distinguished by their form ID. This ID is assigned to the selection variant to ensure that the correct correspondence is printed. You can change these forms to add your company logo, address and additional text. You can specify which correspondence types can be used in conjunction with various online functions. The selections you make will influence your choice of forms available during online processing. The following are selection examples. Payment notices can be selected for payment transactions. Account statements can be selected in document entry, payment processing, document display or change and account editing for balance display and line item processing. You can make your specifications based on the company code. If no entry exists for a company code, the correspondence types specified without a company code are offered.
you can specify the default correspondence type for your business partner in case of payment differences for different tolerance groups. If you want to always issue the same type of correspondence, enter the correspondence type in the message required field. If you want to choose the correspondence type during payment settlement, leave the field blank. If you're using different types of correspondence depending on the reason code, select the according to reason code checkbox. On the reason code screen, you then define the correspondence type for each reason code. For example, if your customer short pays an invoice without explanation, you can follow up with a letter requesting an explanation using the MD or miscellaneous deduction reason code and a specific correspondence type. A payment notice is created only according to the reason code as long as all the reason codes carry the same correspondence type. If reason codes occur with different types of payment notices, the type of payment notice defined for the tolerance group is sent. This way, you can cover all types of reason codes. If reason codes occur without allocated payment notices, the system again uses the tolerance group to determine the type of payment notice. Assume that the tolerance group correspondence is SAP01 and your customer makes a partial payment after a delay of two months. When you manually process this incoming payment, you create a residual item with a reason code and request correspondence type SAP01 payment notice. After your correspondence request is created, you post the document. Next, you maintain your correspondence request. That is, you print the correspondence request and the system generates the letter using your customer's master data and line item information. However, if a document has several line items, some of the line items may have different reason codes and associated correspondence types. In this case, the automatic payment notice cannot be sent according to the reason code because the system does not know which correspondence type to choose. As a result, the system uses the payment notice assigned to the tolerance group independent of the reason codes.